So my name is Mira Griffiths and I'm a trustee at Dartmoor Fest. So I uh, hold different roles. My main one is that I'm a trustee and I have been so for a few months now, uh, supporting the team and the rest of the trustees in terms of operational and conceptual issues associated with the work of Dartmoor Fest. And I also um, do some guest speaking and work on uh, and advise on some of the projects that we work on. Outside of Dollar Fest, my main responsibility is I am a PhD researcher and teacher at Liverpool John Walls University. I talk and write and lecture on a number of different issues, particularly uh, of interest within uh, political ideology, social movements and activism, and disability studies. And I also hold a number of different advisory roles with organisations such as the British Council, um, Department of Government, and also some uh, user-led organisations such as the Alliance for Inclusive Education. I would probably like to be a scriptwriter working uh, for a TV uh, channel, or I'll, I'll be sneaking in that another one, or I would like to be a children's author. I'm not entirely sure how I got involved in Dollar Fest. Uh, I think I, I think I met Ruth at an event and we got talking and discussing uh, issues associated with disability rights and social justice and then I think Ruth uh, kept asking me for more input on, on various different issues and I became more interested in Dollar Fest and disability arts as a, as a general uh, theme and concept and then I just became more and more involved in, in various different ways. I'm not fun. Uh, a fun fact about myself. Okay, so this this probably demonstrates how funny I am, which which is which is very minimal amount of my of my uh, of my persona. But I would probably say that every time I go to a different country, my uh, ritual is that I will go to a supermarket and I will buy a jar of green pesto. And the best pesto I've ever had was from Hungary, and the worst was from New York. My pesto. I'm not entirely sure. I don't even know where it came from. I think I just once went to a shop and bought it and then thought, well, this is very different. And I started having, every time I went to a different country, I don't go, I don't, I like going to restaurants, but I also really enjoy going to supermarkets in different countries and buying food from supermarkets and eating that in the park or in the hotel. Um, and so wherever I go, I always have a quick look at the, uh, at the sources and I usually buy a jar of pasta. At the festival, I'm looking forward to exploring the issues associated with the theme this year. And I want to be in a position where we can really start to explore uh, how we use uh, or continue to use disability arts to be a vehicle for embracing the various different issues associated with um, our experience of disablement, but also exploring the personal uh, issues associated with the limitations of our body and recognising the, the, the politics within that, within that as well. Uh, well, of course, I, I particularly like the works of, of many people connected to Dada Fest. I have a particular interest in the work of Julie McNamara. And also, um, as somebody who has a background in academia, I have numerous conversations with Dr. Paul Dark, who's a cultural critic and writer, and I particularly like uh, a lot of his work exploring film and the portrayal of disability in film and how that then is taken into the realms of uh, how our communities develop and how stigma is attached to disabled people's lives. I think uh, at the heart of Dollar Fest is this commitment to social model thinking and exploring how we recognise that disability is socially constructed we all have limitations of our body, but the experience of, of oppression and marginalisation in society is due to the way that society uh, constructs itself and organises itself. And I've always felt that Delta Fest has been very true to that idea and that thinking, um, and that has been a useful tool for ensuring that we continually try to fight against the oppression um, and the dominant ideologies that, that seek to destroy disabled people's existence within society.